Hi guys, today, because um, we're on lockdown and I've got to work from home so I don't get the time in the week to do the garden much, um, well for now anyway, um, I'm going to be digging um, this little part by our front door, there's like a really small um, area to stand, excuse my hair, so I've been blowing this really windy again today. Um, so I'm going to dig it out a bit bigger so we can put some gravel grid down and some gravel to stand on. Um, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you. Okay, so I've already made a start on it. This is our tiny little area by our front door. And when the kids come down the path, they tend to stand, walk across this bit of the garden here and stand there even when it's muddy and horrible. So I'm going to dig the top layer of the turf out and then put the grid down and bring the gravel up from the back garden that we want to move um, where we're putting the borders in. So let me get this dug out and I'll show you afterwards. So all of the turf has been dug out. It's all in the wheelbarrow, which I'm gonna go and put at the top of the garden there. Um, and then just need to rake over that a bit I'll put some newspaper down just to keep the weeds at bay while the gravel bed's in and I'll go and dig some gravel up and bring it round.
there we are. The finished product. So it's going to be much easier to have a wider area to stand outside the front door. And also, because we live on quite a slope, the water tends to pull around by the front door, but hopefully this bubbled area will hold back the water a little bit. I've put grid in, apart from on the very edges. Sort of here and in this triangle here hasn't got grid because of the shape of it, but uh, yeah, looks much better. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe and see you in the next one.